Good morning, everyone. For today, we're going to discuss Module 2, Quarter 1, Science 7. Elements are like spices. When mixed together, they become better. This is the second part of Module 2. And this is yours truly, Sir Topper, your Science 7 teacher. Before we proceed, let's have the prayer. Pick me up, Lord, and hold me in your loving arms. Protect me from the pressures of the day, and remove the heaviness from my heart. Inspire me with the knowledge that you and I together can handle anything. Amen. What I need to know, look around you. It is amazing that you're able to witness the beauty of the environment. Did you know that everything that you see is matter? I know that you do. It is anything that occupies space, has mass, and has volume. It is a chemical substance that can transform into another state. A chemical substance is a matter that has a definite composition and the same composition throughout. In this module, you will find out that substances may be further classified into two, elements and compounds. Surely, you will understand how elements distinguished from compounds based on the set of properties and you will be able to recognize the presence of these elements in different food labels as minerals. Let's have the objectives. After going through this module, you are expected to Number one, describe the characteristics of an element and compound. Number two, distinguish elements from compounds based on set of properties. And number three, classify substances as either element or compound. Let's have the review. What I know. Which of the following is not an example of a compound? A. Gunpowder B. Salt C. Smoke from cars and D. Oxygen Time is up. Okay, let's see. What is the answer? It is letter D. It is oxygen. Very good. So you can follow. Let's have number two question. Which is not an example of a compound? A. Basis. B. Acids. C. Mixtures. D. Elements. Go. Okay, time is up. It's time to show the correct answer. It's letter D, and that is elements. Very good. Let's have number three question. Which of the following is not a group of elements? A. Metal B. Non-metal C. Metalloid D. Iron Go. Okay, it's time to show the correct answer. Correct answer is letter D, which is iron. Okay, let's proceed with question number four. Which of the following shows set of properties of an element? A, made up of big particles of atom. B, joined through chemical process. C, composed of one element with same properties. D. Joined through mechanical process. Go. Okay, time is up. Let's show the correct answer. The correct answer is letter C. And that was 
composed of one element with same properties. Okay, for the last question for this review. When carbon and oxygen is combined through chemical process, they will end up producing a blank. A. Element. B. Compound. C. Substance. And D. Acid. Go. Okay, let us show the correct answer. It's letter B. And that was compound. Very good. For those who got it perfect, congratulations. Okay, so let's proceed with number six to nine. Let us identify which item illustrates element or compound. Write your answer on the blank provided for. Okay, given the figure. And give it the numbers. What do you think is number six? Is it an element or compound? Okay, let us show the answer. It's an element. How about number seven? It's an element too. How about number eight? What do you think? It is a compound. And lastly, number nine, what is it? Element or compound? It is compound. Okay, so we're done with our review. Let's proceed with our lesson proper. This is lesson two, all about properties of elements and compounds. What's in? Hello, my dear friend. I hope that everything is fine. After answering all your activity, you are already done with describing the characteristics of an element and compound. I know you feel a little bit hard in identifying the elements in each compound, but you did it. Elements are composed of one atom, while compounds are composed of two or more elements. Elements have unique properties and characteristics from others. Let's have this scenario. We have a visitor from our central laboratory. He is Professor Pure, an expert in distinguishing properties of all the elements and compounds around us. He knows how to deal with it. He would like to ask help from you regarding the situation of our laboratory. Everything inside in our school laboratory is in chaos. For you to extend some hand to him, you must read the poem below and use it was as your guide in organizing things. I know that you are excited. So let us get started. Mr. Puri's Love Inside the love, I always do a great job. Everything is in the right corner and always in order. I never mixed one that is different from the other. As you enter the room, all is perfect, not a single clutter. A red cabinet can be seen on the other side of the corner when another pure substance, a compound, is placed in there. It can be broken down into simple type of matter, composed of atoms of elements two or more bonded together. It has unique properties different from its individual origins, chlorine, a poisonous gas when combined to sodium, a shiny metal turned into a table salt, which in cooking food is very fundamental. Now everything is a mess, elements and compounds all over the places. Can you help me sort them out and organize all of them without any doubt? I am an iron made up of a single atom. Where do I belong? Is it, it the blue cabinet or somewhere between rust, salt, and alcohol? I am a water made up hydrogen and oxygen. They say I am a compound. If you agree, in the red cabinet is where I should be. You just made a good job. 
an apprentice I never had always bear in mind. There are two types of substance inside my love. The simplest matter is the element at a compound that can be broken down into its components. By Leia Joy A. Desamparado. Very good. Very nice poem. Here is a follow-up question. What's new? In the previous activity that we had, we identified the properties of a compound and element. Identify some elements and compounds mentioned in a poem using the given set of properties. Write your answer in a separate sheet of paper. Okay, let's proceed. Four elements we have iron, soju, hydrogen, oxygen. How about the compounds? We have rust, salt, and alcohol. So that's it. Let's proceed with it. What is it? Elements and compounds of different set of properties. Elements are somehow like people who prefer to be alone. They compose only one atom with the same set of properties. Compounds are somewhat celebrities who prefer to be to their fans. They are made up of elements that are combined chemically and composed of two or more elements. Okay? Nice. Rhyming. Element and compound are distinguished in different set of properties such as other figures below. So the first figure on the left, it is the pure chemical substance made of the same type of atom. So, obviously, it is element. On the right side figure, it contains atoms of different elements that are chemically combined or bounded. And that is obviously compound. Okay, let's proceed. From the knowledge learned about the properties of an element and compound, let us transfer all the information gathered from it. Which is which? Directions. In the given illustrations, identify which are elements and compounds. Write your answers in the space below the illustration. Okay, what do you think is number one? Anyone? And that is element. How about number two? Compound. Okay, number three. Compound. And number four, also compound. And lastly, a compound. Okay? So what's more? Directions. Complete the table by writing the phrases that correctly describes an element in a compound. Choose from the pool of phrases given below inside the box. Okay? Comparing elements and compounds. Composition. What can you say about element? It is one kind of atom. How about compound? It's two or more kinds of atoms. How about the matter of separation for element? Can it be broken into simpler substance? How about compound? Can be broken into simpler substance by chemical means. And the types for element are metals, non-metals, and metalloids. For compound, we have acids, bases, and salts. Can you follow? It's very easy. So in here, what I have learned, directions read the paragraph and identify the correct words that fit in the given sentences in the box below. So here are the given words to inject in our paragraph below. So what do you think? We have fun, salts, bases, same, one, metals, two more, chemical process, alone, metalloid, acid, element, and non-metals. So let's have elements and compounds of different set of properties. Elements are someone like people who prefer to be alone. That's correct. They're composed of only one atom with same set of properties. Some of them are grouped in metals, non-metals, and metalloids. Let's proceed with compounds. Compounds are somewhat celebrities who preferred to be with their Fans. Compounds are made up of elements that are joined 
chemical process. And they are composed of two or more elements. That's correct. And some of them are grouped into acid, bases, and salts. So we are through with this. Any question? It's very easy. Okay. For our, what I can do, so we need to do this. Same thing that we did last time in our first part of module 2. Look and bring any food product label. Paste your chosen food product label on the box. Group all the substances according to their set of properties upon elements and compounds. Okay? Please use extra sheets if necessary. Okay? Elements and compounds. This is your learning activity for today. Okay, for your assignment, we have the additional activities. So you're given a word puzzle. You're given the questions below. And the answer can be seen on the puzzle. Okay, so any question? There's none. Let's end our lesson for Module 2, Part Thank you and good morning.